Good evening, people. Today is 1-9-2015. And I pulled this out of my tubes quite a while back. Um, it may have been even before the date that I took pictures of it and uploaded them to share. So it may be that much older. I don't know. So, that's it, and I got quite a few comments going on this one, because I'd also do some searching. To try to figure stuff out, but more people are coming out with their own implant horror stories. I just printed one today on both YouTube and Facebook, so... That's pretty cool. See, I was looking at every angle that I possibly could about this. What if it was a broken needle? So there's a Google search on that. And then I ran across this little gem here. I will post that. with the video. I'll just start me a little Gmail clipboard. I use that for for now. I don't know where it went. Yeah, it cut out on me. I'm posting that like I said though. I saved it over on a Gmail. Moonstruck uh, was back in 52. Electronic implants in brain and teeth. Targeting long range implanted during surgery or surreptitiously, Jesus, during abduction. My teeth are in bad shape and the well water didn't help it either. So, bear with me. I was asked if it hurt, but it didn't hurt. But you see, you can kind of get an idea how wide. And then I've got more pictures of it, but I was going to kind of scoot through these links that I found. Tooth as radio receiver. Well, since we're not ruling everything out, we're going to look at the possibilities, right? Be fair. There was this one, too, that the guy was over, where was he, in China? A professor launched a million dollar lawsuit about his. Biometric, biometrics. Microwave radios. There was this one today. Oh, what was that? I'm looking up here at my toolbar. Tool bar. Um, I can't shut this one down. It was molar radio. Chicken nuggets under a microscope. What is that stuff? It looks to me like wire. Um, I added these three today, and the maker of these three, we friended each other and added each other. I don't have as many on there as other ones. Now see here, it's about an inch and a half long, but it's bent.
someone requested that I take pictures of it with a ruler. And then I'm trying to joke about it there, saying I broke off my butterfly antenna. Well, but still, that's uh, the monarch, if you know anything about mind control, the monarch butterfly. So that's not really a joke. It's And I gave this one a look, but um, this new source, I didn't really like that after they updated and said the mystery had been solved, <coughs> excuse me, I read the article that it had supposedly been solved in, and there was nothing. They didn't expose how it had been solved. The, to me, it's still, you know, a mystery. But that implant to me looked like the yellow submarine, so. This one was interesting too. A couple of women who prosecutors say wanted to play dentist pleaded guilty to theft, reckless endangerment, and operating in an unauthorized blah blah clinic probably. Mind manipulation control. Tooth anatomy, a great place to put a stimulusiever. See, it's pretty creepy. And that's enlarged like four times. There's the one where someone's asking me about a shot, a shot of it with a ruler. So I went and did that for him. Now this friend here is a dental and oral surgery tech saying we don't use anything like that. He's a he's an Air Force dental oral surgery tech. One of Bradley's best buddies. If not the best, I don't know. And I told him where it came from. Huh. Then the links I gave wouldn't load. I had two pieces of it. See, what happened? I would get these horrible headaches. And I thought it was tooth related. I had had a couple of root canals that I know of. But then on one of my most recent trips to the dentist a while back, he whipped out the chart and asked me about these four that I had gotten all in one day. So I did have this army sapper that lived with me for a little while while he got helped get me moved while well, he did most most of it from downtown to the South Grand House and it was clear over in Leet and it was like 28 miles to drive there and turn around and come back another 28 miles so he just stayed you know we had an extra room he just stayed and I didn't have to keep running after him and gas was real high at that point anyway his uh one of his things he did in the Army was a dental assistant or whatever they call it. And when I told him about the four implants at one time, or four uh, root canals at one time, he's like, holy cow, not even the Army pushes it that bad. They, you know, they don't do that. So whoever gave me those four implants in one day and it was way back when I was like 18, really wanted to suffer me. And then all this time later, of course, they start uh, deteriorating. And then the two that had the gold crowns on, they popped out. You know, everything started going haywire. But with this, I could feel it back in there. And I was sticking out when I put my tongue back there. 
So I start wiggling it around, wiggling it around, loosening it up. And pretty soon I get a hold of it. And when I did, I started pulling at it. So I literally, I was joking though, but I kind of mean it, was being held together with wire. <laughs> I'm so messed up and bad off. Uh, they're trying to hold me together with this wire here. <laughs> But see, that's that's cut perfectly off, and this one's got a little bit of rounded place. Now, I don't understand this, and that definitely looks skinnier at this slight end. And then this looks like maybe some kind of tool, or I don't know. And see, then he speaks up again. That's way too big, too big to be from any sort of dental treatment. Where exactly did it come from? And then I told him, <coughs> excuse me. So I guess what it is is that some of us are just weirdos, you know. Here's this one on unwittingvictim.com. Is this what I pulled out? Premier Dental Endo. He said, that is not an endophile. I work with those a lot. That looks more like a finishing nail. <laughs> finishing nail? I have no idea, I said. Just wondering if something veterinary had been substituted. No. Veterinary uses the same stuff as people. So, see, this is a big mystery to me. Then this just got a whole lot more interesting. Here's how. And that was that post about the assistant professor at the University of Science and Technology, Hong Kong. Oh, it was $100 million. Has filed a $100 million lawsuit against the U.S. government for implanting mind control devices in his teeth. I'm not going to try to say the name. Charges that the devices were implanted during root canal work in 1991 while he was studying at the U of Iowa. According to the Morning Post reporter Patricia Young, another student of Iowa U who, like Huang, was born in China and had gone on a shooting spree. And the feds, Long says, put the devices in his teeth to find out if he was involved. This has me really, really spooked. Now, see, I ended here, but this is what I'm saying. Really spooked. It had me spooked earlier, but I brushed it off because it isn't what I was researching, for one thing, and so on and so forth. And then this, another student in Iowa, who, like Huang, was born in China, had gone on a shooting spree. That sounds pretty much like same thing. I don't know. Foxhole Radio. See, we're still checking the possibilities. Maybe I was rigged up to be a Foxhole Radio. You just don't ever know. And that's a repost. The next one. That's still pretty freaking interesting. Democratic fundamentalism.org See, so you can still get some of these websites down. Disposing of experimental MK Ultra subjects and people who could not be trusted to safeguard military secrets. Chemical lobotomies. Locking a person away somewhere. Ice pick. Well, I'm running out of time, so I will start here on the next one. See you soon.